What's going on, guys? How you doing? It's Arthur, and we're back here today. Uh, we're gonna talk another Zhao Ga Tong Long San So, right? It's called Yu So or Yu Q. Okay, uh, Yu means to shake, means to rock, sway back and forth, right? So Q and means bridge. So we're gonna use that momentum, shaking and rocking back and forth momentum, to create a frame and cut across our opponent's bridge, right? To create an opening or for defense. Um, and when you practice it on your own, it's gonna look something like this. Okay, so for you, Cell, so, right? Or you, Q, as is sometimes commonly known. We're gonna practice it like this on our own, all right? There's no ga, so, so we go straight right into it. Our hand is gonna rock back and forth like this, not a straight punch, okay? We're gonna rock across, and our hand is on the bottom is gonna have a palm under the elbow, okay? Top hand is holding a, a ginger fist, karanga, right? And then now you know, you see that I'm in a in a wider bow stance, okay? So no more Sam Kokma, right? Because this doesn't have enough uh, framing power sometimes when you're facing against a bigger opponent or a much stronger person, right? So you gotta remember, some of these guys are also smaller, right? So you wanna create a frame, right? So you have a bow stance. This hand is moving, rocking back and forth. Hand underneath to cover, all right? Now, okay, third piece we're gonna cover is when we rock, we have a sinking motion, all right? This is added to the stance work. So we're gonna sink and cut across or shake across, all right? For some quick applications, my friend here, Jaren, has joined us here. So the first application when we do you, you. Uh, the most basic one, when you view the form, you see that there's one hand on the bottom, one hand on the top, all right? So the bottom hand, a lot of times can be viewed as when he punches, we're gonna come slap or come press down on the bridge and we cut across, okay? Um, again, punch and we come in and frame up and push, all right? Uh, another way to do it is if he's picking up and we, we crash into his bridge. So we actively slap down his guard, okay? So one is defensive, he punch, boom, and we can come in. Second is I come in and crash, okay? That's the first piece, all right? So you see this, that's what, that's what this hand is for. Sometimes people grab the wrist, right? This is what we see in the UQ form or the USL form, all right? When the hand picks up from this side and rotates to the outside. So when they grab, they're gonna rotate and we cut across the wrist and they'll let go, all right? Um, so it's much more of an active, release instead of defensive like this um, here and we cut cut across when we're too upright a lot of times people might come in for a single leg all right so this is no good when we're too too upright and that's why when we practice USL UQ we have a much more bow bow and arrow type stance elongated stance all right so when their opponent is here and he comes in for a single leg we can come in stuff to take them by actively cutting into his his neck all right on the other side, boom, right? So we come in actually you into his neck so it creates a frame so it's harder for him to gain entry, okay? That is it for UQ. Nice. Okay, so that's it for UQ, right? Major, three major points. You wanna create that rocking motion, frame up, you wanna sink the stance, and you wanna compress and have that sinking motion to create the U effect, right? So. If you learned it a different way or if you've seen it in, approached in a different manner in Zhao Gatong Long, let me know, drop me a line, all right? Um, if you like the video, smash the thumbs up, I appreciate it, and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy training.